Nick House, back in the house, back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. We are in the house. Yeah, my house. Tonight, okay. Tonight we're back with LXLE 1604.4. Now, to say I was expecting this to be really, really good was an understatement. On reaction, in the end, uh, meh, it could have been better. It could have been better. But we'll go through it with you anyway. Full install on a really old 250 gigabyte. SATA 1 hard drive, yeah, hold on, I'm trying to kill it basically, but it won't die, even though it's sold out, it's older than one of my children, yeah, it's that old, so anyway, moving along, the desktop's nice, the installation's super duper, and all that works super fine, we've got a weather app up here, it thinks I'm in Heathfield, wherever that is, that's in Sussex, I think, I can't remember, but hey, it works, okay, but I was expecting more, now remember I'm using simple screen recorder here <clears throat> on an 8-core machine, okay? It's using a bit much than it should, okay? I'll be really honest. One of the worst things I've found is, just excuse me, if I type in HTOP, it can't see all the cores from my machine. Um, so, yeah, somebody tell me about that, okay? Somebody just tell me about it completely. I've got to let you know, so I'm really sorry. So, that's my first, okay. Right, by default, these are some of the programs you get. So if I go to accessories, get the usual file manager, calculator, LXLE help, parcel light, take a screenshot, you know, the usual, audio and video, aristas here, audacity, the ones you would normally use. And normally for old machines, this would be a fantastic, fantastic distro. The basic open shot is here, okay. Remember, you have to enable a more current version of GIMP to get you to do animated titles otherwise it's not going to work whatsoever okay education not a lot there okay LibreOffice math comes with a suite get marble and granulite games quite a few bits and bobs so if you've got a 32-bit machine it's quite old but maybe a dual core this would probably do it graphics okay document for your pdfs your font manager gimpage works is super fine as you can see it flies but, okay, so I'm giving it a bit of an advantage here because the machine is quite current. Well, actually, it's two years old now. Actually, maybe more than that. Yeah, uh, photo print, shot well, simple image reducer. That's a nice one to use. It's actually quite good, actually. And simple scan, which you would expect. Right, now here comes my little pains up the posteriors. You only get SeaMonkey as your default browser, okay? It's never been the best in the world, and they're trying to develop it better. I'll open it up for you. But for me, it's just too old school now. It's too old school. It just... It's no need. No need. Move along. Okay? We just get, get with the times. Okay? Even if you are, you know, old. So what I did, I installed Firefox, which works super fine. As you can see, comes up the XLE start page. All works hunky-dory. And I downloaded the Google Chrome, which will open up for you here. Nice and hunky dory. Works. We'll go to YouTube. All loads up so far. Even on this really whole hold, hold old hard drive. So if I put me in, we'll just go and see one of my videos so we don't break any laws. Here's one I did the other day on Scratch 3, which you must go and check out. That's far too loud. I don't get no icons for my audio, so I have to do it manually. We'll skip that. Blah, 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 blah. The video doesn't come up in full screen resolution. Okay. So if I click here, I'll simply click it, go to 1080p. Which it plays just fine. Okay. A bit white that screen, isn't it? These are dark things. But yeah, that's one of my moans. That's a big moan, really, isn't it? Google Chrome works fine. Out of the box, as I just said. But now here's the thing. It's trying to do something and it's not doing anything. There's something stopping it from doing what it wants to do. And I can't find it what it is. Right, originally I tried to install Firefox as a snap, which installed. No problem whatsoever. There's no icon. Okay. So I removed it and installed Spotify. 
doesn't give me anything. But I do have a Snap folder. So I've opened the folder. Firefox and Spotify are here, even though I've uninstalled Firefox, okay? There's no icon. On the other hand, if I go to, where am I? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let me go to File Manager. No, I'll go to Accessories. I installed Etcher, which is the app image, and it works hunky-dory, and I can't remember where I'll put it now. So I'll go to my File Manager. We'll find it for you. We'll just open it all up. Where will I put it? Would that be in Downloads? It'd be in Downloads. So if I double-click here, I'm going to execute it, and it'll work. I can't get Snaps to work. No. Bearing in mind, it's based on the Ubuntu. It should work out of the box. No problemo. Big no-no, guys. Big no-no. I think you might have been on holiday, so I'll let you off that one. As for the apps you get with it, there's plenty here for you. But all I'm going to say is, okay, you get all the apps, you get Mirage and all that, and we go to internet. I've installed Firefox and Google Chrome and stuff like that. You get transmission, Pigeon, Mail News, which is part of Sea Monkey. Okay, so you're going to have to put in Thunderbird for a real mail client, which I don't see why I don't do that in the first place. All right. The full LibreOffice suite, so if I go down to write, I'll open up for you. It opens fine. It's super in them respects. But in other respects, it don't work. At least I've got a little extra here for Etcher, so I can just open it. So if I go down there, I'll see what I do. I'll just go to other. I'm going to right click on there, add to desktop. So Etcher's on my desktop now. So why can't it auto install Snaps? Bear in mind, it's Buntu based. I mean, it stores them all right, just can't run them today. Okay, maybe I'm waiting for an update. This system is completely updated, so I don't see what the problem is. LXLE developers, I was looking for something more, but you're just not giving it to me, are you? On the plus side, though, we do get a super fast let's searcher there, but it could have been in somewhere else. So I put my password in, so it's an app to open up, and we get loads and loads of options. Because there's loads and loads of repos here for you. I to install VLC so I can play stuff. Even it, even though it comes with restricted extras. Bit of a pain really, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, LXLE 1604.4. I was expecting more. Please work on it a bit more because, you know, you can be a good distro when you want to be. But this one is just not up to scratch. I'm sorry if you don't like my opinion. So out of five, I can only give you two and a half. More work needed. Go back do some homework. Sneaky Linux out. I says bye bye.